Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. Just a quick note here regarding the delivery times. Um, I have been posting a German channel um, video regarding this topic before. Um, I got a lot of information from people talking to Tesla and I got a few emails. It looks like it could be a software bug because we have this new software for the delivery times. Again, it could be. It's not 100% sure. Um, if I take all the points um, and logical points together. Um, we have seen as well delays for Grünheide, which make no sense right now. No major um, delays would make sense. Small delays, yes, but major delays as well here. And we have no information about any production issues either in Germany or China. So um, keep calm, stay calm. Um, I think we could see some updates and adjustments from delivery times in the next two weeks. Again, guys, Nothing is 100% sure, but I hope it's just a bug or a software issue. Then looking into Germany, we have the new supercharger actually being here opened with the only information that it's not in the app yet. So um, I hope it's actually the case and not someone was mistakenly um, putting that on the website. Um, again, guys, I think it would be the right decision for Tesla to open superchargers in Germany. I think it's about damn time. We have se seen no major issues in the past regarding this in other countries. And here we have as well the um, superchargers from other companies in Germany. So the leading supercharger is EMBV. Um, it's just not supercharger of Tesla included. They um, just took the other competitors out there. So you have EMBV, um, you have Pulse, you have Ionity, Allego, Pfalzwerke. These are like the biggest um, superchargers from other brands um, except of Tesla. So um, we see um, the supercharging or charging network is further invested in and um, is increased, which is very well needed if the EV business is growing like it does. Then we have the Glovis Blender arriving in um, Koper in uh, Slovenia. And um, one of my cars will be on that ship. So I had a Model 3 white standard range. So um, I hope a lot of customers in Italy, Austria, Switzerland and South Germany will receive soon their cars. Um, and those cars will be soon on um, trucks on their way to customers. Then we have the Teben and the RCC Europe as well as the Horizon Leader. Three more ships with uh, where we have no VIN location yet. So we have another 12,000 cars for the British market and the European market. So that is um, very exciting as well. And based on my information in China in the last week, there were still cars produced. And normally they, those cars should be moving to Europe as well. This is normally the way it goes. Um, again, guys, uh, we have to wait if there will be more ships coming. So um, you see it's a very complicated situation as well with the delays that occurred. So again, um, we have to be waiting for a few days what's happening here. Then we have updates regarding the 4680 cells and actually pretty good news, guys. We have Panasonic actually um, saying that they have started with a um, la large scale prototype production in May and full scale mass production will happen by March next year. Furthermore, I have been um, yeah, talking about the um, next factory of Panasonic, um, maybe in Oklahoma, maybe in a different state. Um, just producing for Tesla. Um, so this could be happening soon as well. Not only do we have now then um, Road and Austin producing 4680 salts and Grünheide soon as well. No, we would have as well Panasonic in Japan in Wakayama um, building a production line. And um, we also have then in the future another factory. Despite that, we have an increased production of 39 gigawatt hours um, in Nevada. So this looks as well good. And we do know it is very, very important for future growth that Tesla is having um, the potential to um, being um, not battery constrained. Um, this is very important for the future of uh, Tesla's success. So um, this is very great news. Um, again, guys, for the delivery times, um, I do believe um, there must be a mistake um, because um, combining all the information I have as well with delivery times, it makes actually no sense that we see such major delays for people from the Giga Berlin factory because there's no issues reported so far 
I don't have any information from employees that sometimes send me emails. So um, thank you very much um, for um, yeah watching my channel and um, keeping um, the support here. Then we have um, as well software update um, for the um, maps. So um, people in the United States might have seen that already, um, but we get that now in Europe as well. You can download it. It's the code um, map update. So the map is supposed to be more accurate and um, better um, designed. So um, this is as well happening in Europe right now. And um, um, I have also updates from China. Delivery times extended to up to 24 weeks. Uh, that is half a year. Um, so that is crazy. Um, so that was an update as well. New entry level Model 3 delivery time extended to up to 24 weeks in China. So Chinese customers will receive a lot of new cars this month. Hopefully, um, kind of um, coping with the demand here that has been waiting for cars in China. Um, we do know um, that this is um, a very, very important market. So um, we see here very nicely lots of cars out there from Vuva. So thanks goes to him for doing this footage here um, and providing us in the world with new footage from the factory in Giga Shanghai. It is very important um, that this factory is starting to continue um, producing a lot of cars for the European market, for Australia and for China. And so um, we can just hope there will be no lockdown, lockdown in the near future. If we look at the numbers, we also see that Berlin is now for the quarter estimated at 8,308 cars. I do find that very, very good. Um, compared to Austin, that is stated to have 2,093 cars. Um, again, guys, no official deliveries over there yet. This is the big question mark for the second quarter. Um, hopefully, we will get some updates regarding that in around about six weeks um, once the next earnings call will happen. So um, I think that Giga Berlin is at a, on, on a good way. Um, I think the ramp up is working very well. And if we could really see around 17,000 cars like Troy is estimating here for Green Heide next quarter. I think we are getting in the right direction. And by the end of the year, it could be easily 60 to 70,000 cars per quarter if they continue like that in a crazy ramp up. Again, guys, these numbers are just estimations and I don't have proof that it will happen. Um, so thank you very much um, for being here today again. If you are from Great Britain, you can also um, find me on Tessie Supply if you like to have products or, of course, as well from other countries in Europe that is also working. So thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate your time.